Dun da da da! The Daily Mail tutorials. Yar! Today's tutorial be the pirate flag. Okay, so I've already painted my base coat of black. I used American Apparel Hasid, and now I'm gonna take my white polish, which is Sally Hansen Extreme Wear in white on, and I'm gonna put a little bit on my palette. And we're gonna start drawing the skull on the Jolly Ran Jolly Rancher, the Jolly Roger. Make sure my nails clean. And I'm just gonna start at the top of the skull and I'm gonna kind of lightly kind of outline what the skull's gonna be shaped like. And it's okay if it's not completely opaque right now, we can go over it with another coat. Yeah, we'll draw the bottom jaw. And we'll go in and put the details in in black later. So next we're going to paint the swords that go underneath the skull. I decided to go with swords instead of uh, crossbones. If you like crossbones better, you can do crossbones too. They're, your pirate flag can be as piratey or not piratey as you want. Alright, so I got the, since the swords cross, I'm going to paint the one that goes behind it, but I'm going to leave a thin black line in between the upper piece of the sword and then the sword that's in front that we painted first. And then I'm going to do the same on the bottom, but I'm going to paint the handle side. And paint the, I guess it's called the hilt. And I'm going to, since the skull's dried a little bit, I'm going to go over it with a little bit more white polish so it sticks out and is more opaque. I'm just kind of go, going to go over wherever it doesn't look completely white and you can see a little bit of black showing through because we want it to be nice and bright white. Because you know pirates are super clean and stuff. Yeah, a little bit on the top of the skull. Get the little bit of a the bottom of the sword again. And there we go. I'm going to take my brush and dip it in acetone and clean it up. And I'm going to take my American Apparel Hasid. It's a black polish, and I'm going to put a little bit on my palette. And what we're going to do now is kind of paint in the details. So first off, I'm going to paint the, um, the details on the sword. So I'm going to outline the hilt, and I'm going to, uh, um, I guess it would be the bezel, uh, the line down the center of the sword. I'm not a sword person, so if I'm, I'm saying the wrong terms, I deeply apologize. I'm not a pirate either. Nope. I'm get this last part of the sword. And now we're going to start painting the details on the skull. So I'm going to paint a um, few kind of contour lines in the skull to give it kind of a dimension to it. Don't want to get too detailed on this because it is just a um, kind of more of a graphic, so um, just basic lines, no shading or anything. Um, so I'm going to take the black and I'm going to draw the eyes where the eye sockets are. And I'm going to draw um, kind of like a, an arrow almost for the nose cavity. And then I'm going to draw the jawline in. I'm going to have it be separate so it's not connected. And go back over that, make it opaque. Kind of make that jaw kind of stand out a little bit more as a separate piece. And there's that. And I'm dipping my brush in acetone again, and I'm going to try and add a couple stray teeth in there.
And there you go. I'm going to take my um, white polish again because I don't like how the contour line looks on the right side. So I'm going to cover that up and draw a new one. Just because it goes kind of onto the eye so it looks bizarre. i just draw a new one a little higher up so it's not touching the eye socket. There. Better. So I'm going to take my sesh beat and I'm going to seal in all that piratey awesomeness. You scallywags. I don't know. And there you go. The pirate flag. Thanks for checking out this tutorial. If you want to see more crazy designs from pickles to pimples to warhols, check out thedailynailblog.com or follow me on Twitter at dailynail.